Well, folks, my uh, little 33-day challenge hasn't been going as planned. Um, after day five, I got slammed at work. My wife caught the flu. And, um, man, I've been scrapping, but I uh, haven't had time to uh, do the daily journal. So here it is. We're going to catch up um, day six through 12. Um, it's it's going, but it's going really slow. So uh, let's see if we get caught up here. started my little challenge I had crap to do I was bored that's why I started this and then work happened and then my wife got sick so I had to do laundry cook the whole nine yards and I ran out of time to do these videos hopefully I'm getting caught up now and we're gonna continue with this I'm a little behind I need to average about eleven dollars a day now but we're gonna keep going I'm going to keep this short and keep you YouTuber police off my back with a few disclaimers. Uh, number one, scrap value is always the lowest price for an item, just above garbage. Uh, so if you bring something home that works or has working parts, consider selling it on Craigslist, eBay. That's actually how I make a lot of money. Uh, number two, scrap prices change with the stock market. Uh, good rule of thumb, like I stated, but not fact. Uh, when oil prices are high, usually scrap prices go up, and then vice versa. Um, for the purpose of this video, I just stated the prices from the last trip I made, uh, so they're not going to be your prices. So I'm just using these as comparisons for the video. Number three, come on, use common sense. We're working with metals. They're sharp. Uh, they have sharp edges. Wear gloves, protective eye gear. Do what you need to do to keep yourself from going to the hospital and cutting to any profit you might make.